but four days ago I posted this video how I mounted these uh, servos under the, this crossover directly because there is no room under uh, because of these 2 by 4s as you can see I built, made a housing and uh, the servos fit right in and this is the Octopus 3 um, I modified the Makita charger and put made it a power supply for this uh, Octopus 3 about 19 volts I put the bridge diode and a um, capacitor fuse uh, these wires these are to the frogs and some tracks that will be hooked up to the relays for changing polarity and these are the other two um, servos that are directly mounted under the board so and this is the plug for adjusting the servos it, it normally comes out after you're done with adjustments this is the relay that I'm going to use for uh, changing polarity on the frogs uh, this is the board that normally throws the switches, the servos and uh, this is the adjust, adjusting board so I'm going to put it on servo number one push this button and throws the switch or I can use this one here and throw the switch now I'm going to switch to two there it goes and as you can see the red and green wire those are the ones that go to to the frogs and uh, here we got servo number three number four number four goes a little bit faster because I had to use thicker uh, piano wire Alright, so this was the end of mounting this crossover. I have uh, other videos that uh, I have done a slip switch and also some other videos of cranes and uh, my layout. I have a slideshow of my layout. You can go check it out soon. I will um, make a video of my layout. It's 14 by 27 and I'll show you guys all the bells and whistles and the wiring and things that I have done. Alright, thanks.